Hi, it's Rhonda here from Funky Freaks again. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have another simple um, project today, a granny square. It's um, a double crochet cluster granny square, that's what I'm calling it. Um, they're made of cr clusters of double crochet stitches. So there's an example of what we're looking at making. To start with though, I'm um, using an acrylic, just a basic acrylic yarn. I've picked any colour here, it doesn't matter what you use. You could make some cotton if you wanted to as well. I'm going to make a slip knot and then I'm going to chain four. In doing this I'm going to make a little loop to work into. So once you've chained four, you'll slip stitch to the first chain that you made. So pull that all the way through and you'll be left with a little hole in the centre that you'll work into. Chain three, this will be classed as your first double crochet, and then we want two more double crochet into the centre of that ring. Making sure that we, as we work, we're going to be working over that loose piece of yarn, because we can use that to pull up our work at the end to close the hole. I'm just holding that down, that loose piece as I go. So that's three double crochets. Then we're going to chain three, for a corner and place another three double crochet into the center here again just holding that um, this one here this holding this working yarn down as I go that's two that's three there we go can see that corner forming quite nicely. Then we're going to chain three again and put another three double cro crochet clusters into the center. This is a very easy pattern. I'll put some links um, on here as we go. Um, we've used um, this particular stitch, this sort of 3D, uh, three double crochet cluster stitch in a another granny. We used it as a border chain three and we're at our last cluster here so three double crochet and then to finish up we're going to chain three there we go pulling on that tail you can see that closes up that hole quite nicely we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three but we need to chain three first for the corner. So three chain and then slip stitch just into the top of the chain three at the very beginning. There we go. Then we're going to chain three. Now that will be the start of um, our next well that will be the end of our next corner so what we're going to do is we're going to work across first of all we're going to chain one for a space and then we're going to work into the next corner you'll see what i mean when we come back around when we finish this so in this corner we want to place three double crochet then we're going to chain three and we're going to place three double crochet in here. Okay, that finishes that corner off. Then we're going to chain one and work into the next corner. So three double crochet. So this pattern's very straightforward, all along the edge, all in the corners, three double cro crochet clusters. Separate that by three chain and then another three double crochet cluster here. Chain one. And then work the same again in the next corner. Three double crochet. Oops. Chain three. Three double crochet. Okay. 
Chai Ma. So you'll see we're on the last corner. So we need three double crochet in here and then we need um, chain three after that. And then we want to place two double crochet in here. One, two. And that first three, it was actually four chain we did, but we want the first three. We're going to stick our needle into the uh, hook into the, the third one and slip stitch in because the fourth one is our space, our chain space. Then we're going to chain three. Then we're going to work two double crochet in that same space in between the clusters and chain one and repeat the corner three double crochet one two three and chain three and then one Chain one, working straight into the space in between clusters. One, two, three, chain one, and repeat the corner. Just pull out some yarn it's getting a bit tight here and I keep pulling my work forward three chain and then three double crochets again to finish that corner off and then between the previous clusters chain chain one obviously and then between the clusters we want three double crochet Three cluster, chain three, three cluster. There you go. So we're coming up to the last corner here, but we want to um, do one more cluster. Three double crochet, three chain, three double crochet, chain one. So as it stands, we'll need to um, continue the work all the way around, place those two double crochets in as you can see and then slip stitch into the top.
split the wall. There we go. I'll try that again. Okay. So I'm just going to stop there for now. You can carry on. I'll add a border to this a little bit later on, maybe in a different colour. And you can easily count your um, rounds here too. You can either count the clusters um, in each of the rounds or you can count your corner spaces. So counting these clusters here um, or each of the corners. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rounds. And that's a really good size. So you can add a border like this if you want to. So you can um, have a look at the video for this one. This is quite a simple border and you can actually see the three double crochet cluster added to this simple granny square. So you can use this stitch for lots of different projects. And then we've just um, put a, a, a frilly border on the outside of that. And here's the little teddy bear applique that we made in a video earlier on that would look really cute so you could make several of these attach your appliques and make a, a larger blanket if you wanted to he's cute isn't he with his little bow so I'll have the link for him so you can make him so I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's quite repetitive but it's very very easy thumbs up like subscribe and I'll see you back in the next video. Thank you.